following breaking news, Hamden DA Anthony Colooney announced this morning that six juveniles have been criminally charged after his investigation into racist bullying in Southwick. Dwight's news reporter Melissa Torres is live in Springfield with the latest on the DA's investigation. Well, Rich, six students from the Southwick Regional School are being criminally pursued for their involvement in a racist and hateful online chat over Snapchat. The DA office began their investigation after learning about this incident on February 15th. These alleged incidents included everything from the use of derogatory racist language to the creation of an online slave auction in which students at the school placed bids of two and four dollars to purchase black and brown students. As of this morning, two juveniles have been charged with interference with civil rights, threat to commit a crime, and witness interference. And four other juveniles have been charged with a threat to commit a crime. These charges will be prosecuted in juvenile court, and due to legal restrictions, the DA was not able to divulge the identities of the individuals to the public. All of the individuals involved were between the ages of 13 and 14, and their families have all been notified of the charges against them. Galuni says that with this investigation, he intends to be very clear, saying that hatred and racism have no place in this community, and where the behavior becomes criminal, he ensures that he, we act and we act with swift involvement and resolve as they did in this particular investigation to uncover it and bring it to the light of justice. He added that this behavioral was vile, cruel and contemptible. In an effort to curb this hate, the DA is taking a lot of different proactive approaches to address it. First, he plans to send his community safety and outreach unit to talk to the Southwick Regional School community as a whole. He also plans enlisting the support of other offices to develop specific programming to address racism, bigotry, and bullying within schools. For now, working for you, Melissa Torres, 22 News.